Grant Miller, now in his senior season with Pepperdine Water Polo, is the kind of guy who teammates look up to and even opponents respect. It's, you know, it's an honor to have the guys come to me. I mean, I have been around the sport in a little while, for a little while. I've experienced a lot through water polo already, even though I'm, you know, still fairly young. And so I just try to, you know, help them out by giving them experiences that I've gone through and how I've dealt with it, hoping that it'll work out the same for them. And if not, it'll help them find their own unique ways to, uh, to deal with things, whether, whether it's being nervous or they're in a slump of some kind or things like that. Just kind of help them out along the way, but they can still figure it out on their own. One way to exemplify wisdom is to accept it from others. Others such as Jack Coker, Gary O'Brien, and Olympian Terry Schroeder. Jack is a great, great individuals coach and has taught me a lot over my past four years here. It's one of those things that I've learned over the, throughout the years here is that not only do I have to be able to be physically tough for it, but I also have to be mentally tough for it and be able to train my mind to be able to endure almost anything that happens in a game to uh, not let it phase me or not let it get me out of my own game. Having Shro around just with his infinite wisdom about the game, um, the guys tease me that I have a lot of wisdom here. I have nowhere near any kind of wisdom compared to him. He has been through anything and everything. And just learning from what he's done and listening to him talk and having conversations with him has been amazing. We're not the only people that are going through the same things that uh, they're going through the things that we think we're going through. I mean, other people have done it, people very close to us, and we can learn from what they've done to uh, help us get through it. In Beijing 2008, Terry Schroeder's USA water polo team stunned the world, turning heads as they reached the gold medal game. Miller was among the nation's top collegiate players for whom the feat served as inspiration. I've done a little bit of training with him here and there in the past four years, and literally all the way up until maybe about three months before the Olympics, you're looking at this team going, they're never going to do it. And then all of a sudden something just clicked and they played together better than any other team in the Olympics. Um, being ranked ninth in the world and making it all the way to the gold medal game was something really inspiring, not only for the U.S., but for other, other teams in college like Pepperdine. We've always been kind of the underdog kind of thing. It's, it makes it show that anything is possible as long as we believe in it. Looking at the accomplishments of the two-time All-American, phrases like, work hard and you'll reach your dreams, start to sound less cliche. And no matter how bad the score is or how bad things are going, it's, uh, it's an issue of pride in, in a sense. It's an issue of uh, what kind of person you are. Am I going to be the person that just gives up and shows that I have no commitment, no, you know, kind of shows what my character is, or am I going to be the person that goes, hey, we may be down, you know, eight, nine goals, but I'm going to keep going hard because that's what I'm supposed to do. That's, that's what makes a champion, even if the school board says you're not a champion. His are the successes of an athlete resolved and resilient, and of a young man who strives to bring honor not only to his university, but also to those who have helped him earn his place here. You know, my best friends, my family, they've just been so supportive through everything, being at every single game, and it kind of drives me to do my best because, you know, they'll travel six or seven hours all the way up to Northern California for games and if I don't perform my best, I, you know, I feel like it's a waste of their time. It's a waste of them coming up here and no matter, even though they're going to be proud of me no matter what I do, which is awesome, uh, if I feel the need, I need to give something back to them because they've done so much for me. Miller studies history and plans to teach high school, but even amidst all of the books, he isn't quite ready to close the chapter on water polo in his life. I've always kind of wanted to play overseas. Uh, as soon as I graduate and go back and play somewhere in Europe for a year or so before moving on with water polo. I've always wanted to play in the Olympics as well, so I don't know, maybe try to make come back and uh, play with the national team for a while and make, it, make a run at the uh, 2012 games. It's been uh, such a big part of my life and it's, it's meant everything to me. It's the reason I came to Pepperdine. It's the reason I've done this and that. It's the reason I've been all over the world. And I don't know, it's just, it's going to be interesting to see where my life takes me after, after I'm done with it.